everyone, I'm here today with a very unexpected book haul. I went around my friend's house the other day and her mum got a Kindle a little while ago and she's slowly trying to get rid of all of her books and replace everything on Kindle instead. And a few months ago she gave me a couple of books which I'll show you in a minute. And this time she made me leave with a load more and I had to exercise so much caution and restraint to try and make myself not leave with practically every book that she'd still got left and was trying to usher me out the door with. So I picked up seven books this time and as I say she gave me two before so I've got nine books to show you today. Most of them are sort of thriller genre but there, there is a couple of exceptions. And yeah, let's get to it. As you know, I don't normally do very many book hauls because I really don't enjoy inserting images to so many books of the Kindle books that I buy. So I never ever do book hauls anymore except for physical ones. So uh, this will make a rare change. Also, I'm really sorry, but my hair might look a bit wet in this video because I got out of the shower not too long ago and it's not 100% dry. Maybe it'll hurry up. So one of the books that she gave me a while ago is Sydney Sheldon's Bloodline and I picked this one up off her because someone else that I know had told me to try reading some Sydney Sheldon so I grabbed this one so the same for this one as well Memories of Midnight Suspense, Intrigue and Passion from the World's Favourite Storyteller so I'm really excited to pick these up, mainly because, as I said, the author has been recommended to me quite a few times now. And then one of the ones that I grabbed the other day, I don't think she's even read this one. It's pretty impossible to read these mass market paperbacks without creasing the spine, and the spine's not like... No, she can't possibly have read this. <laughs> that's that's inc insane. So this one is by Val McDermid, and it's The Grave Tattoo. And if you live in the UK, Apparently this was the creator of TV's Wire in the Blood. I think that was just a UK show and I remember seeing that. I don't think I watched it an awful lot but again and that now and again and I'm sure I enjoyed it so I'm really excited to pick this up sometime. And this is a 200 year old secret that's now a matter of life and death and it could be worth a fortune. Next we have The Shepherd by Ethan Cross. I've never read anything by Ethan Cross, I'm not sure I'm even all that familiar with the author. Like I said, I just went through and I picked up books that looked kind of interesting to me. And this one says on the front, do you want to play a game? And it's got some really messed up dice on it. And it just, it really stood out to me, this one. And it says on the back, what excites him most is the game of chance. He likes to play with ordinary people, innocent people, someone just like you. If you take part in Ackerman's game, he'll stalk you and then take you prisoner. Will he let you live or will you die? There are so many different ways to die and Ackerman knows them all. It's part of his game. Do you want to play? So I'm really excited to pick that up. It sounds fab. Another one by Ethan Cross. This one doesn't feel very red either, honestly. <laughs> Evil hides in many places. I love the covers to mystery and thriller books. I just, they, they get me so excited. And this one is called The Prophet. Look at that cover. Does it not make you just want to pick it up? Assuming you like this kind of book anyway. This one is again about Francis Ackerman, most terrifying serial killer, brutal and cunning. He is ready to take his evil games to a new level. I hadn't realised it continued on from the one that... Oh, I'm even more excited for both of those. And this is a book by Chris Carter. Again, I've not read anything by Chris Carter either. I really need to delve more into sort of common, quite well-known mystery, thriller, horror writers, I think. <laughs> And this is called The Crucifix Killer. Crush your heart and hope to die quickly. Every time he closed his eyes, he could still see the carving on the back of her neck. He could still smell the pungent odour from that room. Could this be happening again? And this one is also by Chris Carter. And this one's called The Executioner. Imagine your worst fear and then meet your worst nightmare. He knows what scares you to death. I'm just, oh, I, I, I think it's been a while since I've read just like a typical mainstream thriller and I really need it in my life right now, I think. Now something on a slightly different subject. This is 12 Days of Christmas by Trisha Ashley and this cover has got glitter on it. How amazing is that? I'm going to have to wait till next year to actually pick this one up now. If you can tell the glitter on there. But all the same... The main reason why I grabbed this one was because it's blurbed by Sophie Kinsella on the back end. As you may know if you watch my channel regularly, I love Sophie Kinsella. So this is a nice Christmassy book. 
and I definitely will have to pick that up next December. And the last one, and this one is also Christmassy and glittery, and this one's called The Christmas Cookie Club by Anne Perlman. And glitter, 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 glitter. These books are so pretty. The Christmas Cookie Club is about passion and hopefulness of a new romance, the betrayal and disillusionment some relationships bring, the joys and fears of motherhood, and above all, it's a celebration of friendships between women. So, oh, I'm so excited for all these books. I just, I really love my Kindle, but you really can't beat the feel of books in your hand. It's just, oh, I feel great. Let's try and get a picture. Can I, can I manage it? Yay! So, there we are for my unexpected book haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, not many hauls, the occasional one, mainly book reviews and other fun bookish videos, then please subscribe. If you want to see what I'm currently reading, you can check me out on Goodreads or Twitter. So feel free to friend request or follow me on those. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.